Hi friends, happy Tuesday. Welcome back to my channel, Sally Hearts Jag 80 here. Hey guys, hope your Tuesday is going fabulous. Mine is going good. It's kind of warm, kind of cold, kind of a little bit of everything today as far as weather goes. But anyway, <laughs> it is all beautiful. We're breathing. We're happy. I hope we're all happy and having a wonderful, wonderful time. So anyway, guys, on today's show, I want to talk to you about what I found um, over this past weekend on Sunday. I believe it was Sunday. Was it Sunday? I can't remember. I did a little bit of uh, roaming around at my local flea market. Had a lot of fun. Haven't done that in ages. Totally, totally missed out on it. Was inspired by y'all because some of you do do the thrift store thing, um, do do the flea market thing, especially on Instagram. And I love everything that you guys find. You guys find so many beautiful things. Barbie, Bratz, Disney stuff, princess stuff. Um, and I love that you guys share, so thank you so much. And I do love thrifting, and I do love going to flea markets, um... But I haven't done it in such a long time. So I finally got down. I went to um, a thrift store. I found one thing there. It was a Live doll. She is currently being customized right now. I forgot to take pictures of her and share her with you guys. And then I went uh, to the flea market. Because I was like, wait a minute. We got a flea market here. So I went down to the flea market. It was hot. It was blazing. There were tons of people. But it was fun. There was a lot of good stuff. Um, well, I shouldn't say that. There was a lot of stuff, but not a lot of stuff that really piqued my interest. And everybody was closing up. It was kind of late in the day. It was around, um, I think 4.30. And everybody was packing up because they closed at 5. And I just thought, you know, I'd check it out because I hadn't been in such a long time. So, yada, yada, yada. <laughs> I finally make it around through the whole big parking space, the market space. And... At the last booth, well, like the fifth to the last booth, packing up, I find this woman and she's selling toys, all kinds of toys. And I'm like, yes, there, some aren't really pretty, some need a lot of work, and some are just gorgeous. So let me tell you, well, let me show you what I found. So I found this <gasps> beautiful a toddler Merida doll. I believe this is done by Jack Specific. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, guys. I could always use your help. Um, She's super beautiful. I've wanted this Merida for such a long time, but I kept putting it off, putting it off, um, because the only uh, Brave stuff I collected was from the Disney store, of course, because I'm mad crazy about the Disney store. Um, but she was really, really adorable, and when I went back to get her, um, she was gone. I don't know if it was because of the holidays. This was last year, um, but I couldn't find her. So I found her up there, and she was gorgeous, looking amazing in her cute little dress, glitters all intact. She's missing her belt, but I don't care. This was super, super beautiful to find in this condition. She still had her crown on her head. I love that her hair is in little ringlets. It's a little rough in some parts, but I don't mind because Meredith's hair is wild and crazy. And the one thing I will say about the Disney Store doll, that the ringlets aren't this amazing on the Disney Store doll. Just my opinion, guys. If you do love your Disney Store doll version... I love it too, but I really, really love this version, and I love Meredith's face. Uh, the Disney Store one, she kind of has a little smirk on her face, which is adorable, and I like that they sculpted her like that, but I love that she just has like a normal smiling face. Her little freckles are there. You can't see because the light um, um, blasts them away, <laughs> but she's really, really cute. I love her. She's super adorable. I washed her hair, and I was so afraid that the curls would not stay, but they did. They totally stayed. Gave her a bath. She totally just had a little bit of love on her left over from her previous owner. Other than that, she's beautiful, and she makes such a great addition to my um, Brave collection, my Disney Princess collection, my Disney collection, uh, and I didn't have to pay $24 for it because I think these are $24 in the store. And despite missing the belt, I mean, really amazing. I only paid $6 for it. The woman wanted 7 but then she told me she'd take 6 And I was like, 6 bucks To me, that's a deal. That's like not a big deal at all. Especially since she was really well cared for. So there is Merida. I got Merida. Let me show you what else I got. 
Now, this was right next to the Merida, and although I know, I know, I know, I already have two of them, even though they're in different clothing, because um, the company, um, oh my god, Jack Pacific, once again, released these with different clothes, kind of like the American Girl doll, and I've done a few reviews on these already, so let me show you what else I found. Da, 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 da. This a beautiful, a gorgeous gal, yes... I have found her there at the flea market. Love her. Sorry, I got distracted by something else, you guys. Could not resist her. Fell in love with the Merida first. I did not notice her until I looked over. She was kind of like laying down next to where Merida was standing. And I said, wait a minute. That's a Disney princess in me. Ariel could not resist. Love, love, love. She sold me this Ariel for $6. Um, she's missing her crown. I'm missing her um, little slippers down here. I don't care. Pretty doll. Amazing doll. Fabulous glass eyes. I love this facial sculpt on this Ariel. Her hair is beautiful. Washed it. Washed it. Now, it looks uneven because that's how Jack Pacific makes the um, hair for the Princess and Me dolls. But I don't mind that because it's really soft. It's really, really pretty. She came in her original outfit. This is the Disney Princess and Me Ariel that came out before the new um, Jewel version. So this is the original one. And you guys, anytime you find a Disney Princess and Me doll, whether it's Ariel or not, I suggest if it's in really good condition, even if it doesn't totally come with her outfit, I say get the doll because if you could find these cheap, it is great. They're like $40 in the store. I bought my first Ariel for $49.99 at Toys R Us, and then I ended up getting two more as gifts from two separate friends. And um, they came with an outfit... Uh, no, each doll came with the same outfit, but Jax put out many outfits in the collection because it was kind of like an American girl thing. She is 18 inches tall. She is all vinyl. Her um, body moves right here in the top of her chest area. She sits down. Her legs and arms move out. She's a... Uh, what is that called? Oh my goodness. I can't believe this. I'm getting so tongue-tied on this. She's not a jointed doll, but she is a strung doll, which means she is put together kind of like a BJD doll. No offense to any BJD lovers or artists out there because she's totally not like a BJD doll in any other way. Those dolls are fabulous. But she is strung with like a heavy... um like a white rope material in her body, which I really like the Strung Dolls. I think they move better and they hold a lot more. She, I just think they hold better. Um, but she does not bend at the elbows or the knees, but I don't care, guys. So I found her. I paid $6 for her and $6 for Merida, and I am super happy. So... Thank you guys so much for inspiring me to get back out there to the thrift store, get back out there doing my flea market thing. Check out your local flea market if you have one. Go to your thrift stores. You will find amazing things. If you find a Disney Princess and a Me doll or you find any Disney Princess doll that's amazing that you don't have in your collection and you get it for next to nothing, it's amazing. You have found a fabulous find and I am so happy for you. Now let me stick her down here and share with you guys some other things I found. Now, I found these um, for the American Girl Collector out there. I know I like to put cute little, like, butterfly um, hair ties and hair ribbons. I use one for Ariel. Um, and they sell them there really cheap. They're like a dollar for each one of these. Um, I really didn't find too many that I loved, and I didn't want to buy doubles because I have quite a bit. Um, you could also find, like, Frozen and... Um, Disney themed hair ties and bows at Target for a dollar as well, but you won't get as many as this. You get four in this pack and then you get six, seven, eight, nine. How many are in here? Eight. So it's really, really cool for a dollar for your 18 inch dolls. Don't have to be American girls, but I do collect American girl as well, as you guys all know. And I have been uh, starting to play with them a little bit more instead of just dressing them and throwing them on the shelf. They are a lot of fun and I like to style the hair. And it's really nice because they're not cheap, um, 
like a la they are elastic, but I mean they won't pull your AG doll's hair out of her head, <laughs> out of her wig. So it is really, really nice to get those. Okay, and after all that, oh my goodness, this video is going on forever. I'm sorry, you guys, but I have so much to share with you. I wasn't gonna share this in this video, but I am. So after I left the flea market, I had to go to Target, one of my favorite stores, after the Disney store, of course, because I had to get some grown-up guy stuff. Um some lotion to keep my skin from getting ashy and some shaving stuff and all that boring stuff that guys, us grown guys, have to do. But anyway, I found something amazing that I've been looking for. I found these! Oh my goodness, so cute. Mattel's version of Anna and Elsa from Frozen Fever. I finally found them. They were $14.99 each. They are amazing. They're beautiful. I love them. Mattel did such a good job this time around. I'm going to review them tomorrow for you, and I'm going to share with you my thoughts on Frozen Fever. Did you guys see Frozen Fever? Did you love it? Did you like it? So I will be discussing these tomorrow and the Frozen Fever short film. So thank you guys so much for watching today. Thank you for watching my flea market finds. Miss Ariel. And the fabulous Princess Merida. Two of my favorite little redheads together. Look at how cute they could be sisters. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment. Please give me a thumbs up. And subscribe for more Disney doll toy reviews. And a whole bunch of fun. And me talking about dolls and toys that I love. Thank you guys so much. Remember to love your family. Love your friends. But most importantly... Love yourself. Be kind, stay positive, and until we meet again in this fabulous thrift store flea market world, oops, and Merida loses her crown, you guys have a magical day, and I will see you tomorrow for some frozen fever fun. Bye, guys. See you then. Have a great Tuesday.